Hey, welcome to Cal Free Kicks. On this channel, I review leather free sneakers only, and today's video is all about the Nike Juniper Trials 2. Welcome to the channel. If you've not seen one of my videos before, I always look into five different categories. Then at the end of this video, I will give these Nike Juniper Trail 2 an overall rating out of five stars. If you do like what you see as you're going on, please do not forget to click the little thumbs up like button below on your device. And whilst you're down there and you want to show a little bit of extra support, you can also subscribe to the channel. Now, let's kick this review off by checking out these Nike Juniper Trail 2 out on feet. The Nike Juniper Trail 2s come in two different colorways at the moment. I prefer this one to the other muted one, especially as it's a trail shoe. They're gonna get dirty, so the other pair are probably gonna get wrecked quite quickly. They're only available in women's sizes, the other colorway at the moment, but I'm pretty sure if these take off, Nike are gonna bring out many more different colorways. Now, this is more of an entry-level trail shoe in the Nike range. It's definitely the smaller brother or sister to the kind of Nike Pegasus trails and the Gore-Texes that are definitely higher in price, but also have more benefits with the Nike Nike React midsole and they also probably have a little bit more going on color wise and looks wise as well but overall not a bad looking shoe to be honest now I do like the main feature of this sneaker which is this double swoosh that you get on the outside of your foot you get the white TPU swoosh and then you've got a lightly embroidered swoosh that just goes underneath that on the inside of the shoe you've got Nike's adventure brand emblem as well when you move to the tongue it says born to be wild with the juniper trail branding as well and on the back of the sneaker you've got more of nike's trail branding as well that you could see on the heel pull it does say that this shoe is made up of a mixture of synthetic leathers and synthetic fabric materials i can only really see that only place the synthetic leather might be is on the um, heel of the shoe where you've got this hardened heel unit at the back but otherwise it's made up of a ripstop fabric which makes up most of the midfoot and towards the toe and then sewn into the toe box you've got a lighter weave which is possibly more of a fly knit and that runs up the tongue as well. Overall I think it's quite a nice looking shoe to be honest. I like the size of this chunky unnamed midsole that you get with it. I like the cutaway details. It's not just plain simple and blocky. I think they've done some nice cut to it and it makes it look quite nice. On the outsole of the sneaker, you've also got the Nike grind outsole as well, which means that 8% of the rubber that's used in this outsole has been recycled. Overall, there's a shoe as well, 20% of the materials used on the sneaker have been recycled. Now, you might see this more often in my videos and also if you order some Nike shoes, but you can see from the box to my right, that they are only sending these sneakers out, the ones that are partially recycled now, in single boxes. So it's absolutely battered this box. Gone are the days where you're gonna get a nice Nike box, but to be honest, this box uses 90% recycled materials and obviously cuts down the amount of materials Nike is sending out in shoes by at least half. So it's a really good thing, but if you like your boxes, you might be a little bit let down by some of these recycled shoes they're sending out. Now I wanna move on to their comfort where I wanna put this chunky unnamed midsole to the test on my back doorstep. So this chunky unnamed EVA foam midsole does feel very nice underfoot. You can see from the step test, I wanna put a lot of pressure on this. In every area of the midsole from toe to heel, I've got a really nice amount of cushion and responsive bounce back as well. And when you're walking around in these, yes, they do feel a little bit on the firmer side because it is a firmer EVA foam mid than possibly the React mid that you would get with other trail shoes that are higher up in the range. But you're not gonna get that React comfort with this. Obviously, there's a reason why you're paying more for the React midsole. This unnamed one doesn't perform that badly though. I did really feel a nice amount of comfort throughout the shoe and on top of your feet. 
you've got this fly wire rope detailing that pulls the laces in around the middle of your foot. The fly wires run from almost the back of the shoe towards your heel and through the midfoot. And when you do the laces up, they pull the shoe in and create a really nice comfortable fit on top of your feet and add extra stability. There's really nice padding around the heel as well and I did like how soft to the touch on the inside and outside of the shoe this lighter weave is around the toe box area. So to be honest, all round a really nice comfortable sneaker but do expect them to ride a little bit on the firmer side. Now fit wise, these are an absolute perfect fit for my feet. I've got UK length size 10, perfect length feet. These fit me perfectly lengthwise and also width wise. I've got slightly wider than average feet, but the toe box in these is really nice and wide and material and fabric used is really forgiven as well. So if you've got wide feet, these are gonna be really good for you as well. So I'd definitely go true to size with these. Now I wanna talk more about their weight, where I wanna put them on the scales. So tip of the scales at just over 330 grams, it's not a bad weight at all for these Nike Juniper Trail 2s. I think any sneaker that's under the 350 gram mark can be considered lightweight. Anything above 350, 400, 450, you're definitely getting into the heavyweight range. But these for me come in at a really nice weight because I think the amount of materials they've used on the upper, especially with the fly wire, the overlays, the extra stability, the foam detailing for the comfort, and this incredibly chunky midsole. And don't forget the amount of hardened grip you've got on this outsole as well. The amount of materials they've used to keep that down to just over 330 grams is a really nice job by Nike and a really good weight. Now I want to move on to their breathability where I want to pump this perforated upper full of smoke to see how breathable it is. result in the breathability test you can see that the smoke escapes really quickly and in large amounts from this area in the toe box that's got this lighter fly knit weave however the rest of the shoe where you've got this more rugged durable hard wearing ripstop fabric still had some smoke escaping from it and the smoke also came out quite quickly from these areas where you've got the rope fly wire mixing in with the laces so there's a nice amount of breathability for this sneaker and especially for a trail shoe that's got more overlays on its upper than most might have i think it was a really good result now moving on to their price now these set me back 80 pounds now when you think about it everything that you're getting with this shoe for 80 pounds i think it's a really good price because i think as an entry level trail shoe or even an everyday shoe that you want to take on the trails i think this is a great starting point now yes it's not going to be as comfortable as the other sneakers in the range if you go up in price that have the react foam midsoles this is a little bit on the firmer side but i really enjoyed the ride on these and the stability on top of your feet and also the fit is just great overall then i can't not give them anything else but five stars just because i think for the price I think they're offering you great value in every area. Yeah, they're not gonna be the most breathable and yeah, they don't look the greatest, especially in this colorway. Hopefully there'll be more to come. But I just think five stars for the price, I just think it's really good. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've seen again, please do not forget to give the video a thumbs up like before you leave. You can also follow me on Instagram, drop any comments below and I'll see you again soon. Bye.